There's nothing like having friends in warm places hanging out at West Colang Lake as we check out a fun winter sport, ice fishing. The day was a balmy 14 degrees and the wind across the lake added to that Arctic chill. We spotted our crew out on the ice and headed over for our first contact to see what this ice fishing thing is all about. I'm out here at West Klang Lake. Oh no, I don't. Uh, I've been ice fishing here, oh, probably 35 years. Uh, we try to get out at least every weekend. Um, each person's allowed to have five tip-ups. Reason why we do it, just to, something else to do in the winter. Um, so that's the reason why. We're out here just to have a good time, laugh, have a couple drinks, and if we catch fish, that's a bonus. Since we were new to this, we asked the team to show us how they set things up in hopes of catching what's beneath the ice. So this is a uh, just an Eskimo propane auger. Now we have a regular ice skimmer. This is for the bait. Maybe he's going to get a skimmer. You want to be a skimmer. take the ice out. We just call this a scoop. Uh, cleans your holes out. Also, uh, It'll measure the thickness of your ice. Apparently we have about nine and a half inch of ice right here. Plenty of ice. We try to go out on four yeah. inches, four plus inches. They, they used to have like a regular guide at one time. They always said like an inch and a half, two inches for a man, uh, three or four inches for like a snowmobile. And then it gets up to that seven to eight to 10 inches for actually an automobile. Here we're using 20 pound test, braided line with a uh, Steel leader. This is a sounder. They call it a sounder. You put that on the line, you drop it down, and hit the bottom. When you hit the bottom, you pull back up again, and then you set that depth that you have. It's 10 feet, 8 feet, whatever it might be. And then you hook your bait on, you know, onto it, and you drop it down. Your button goes onto your reel. When it, that's your depth of that. This way, every time you get a, a fish or a bite, you know where to put it back with that little button. That's where you put it on the reel. So that's you know your depth. Is. What I do a lot, most of the guys do, the little dorsal fin that's on the bait fish, it sticks up, you put that right, right in behind that, by that dorsal fin, and you hook them in, and you always hook them, my dad always used to tell me, he used to take them and put them through the scale with the scales on a fish, you put the scales the same way the scales run, and you hook the hook in that, and you, hook it, and you put the hook to hold it, and that helps, the scales actually holds it from wearing a hole through it when it's down there swimming for a long period of time. If you get it down too far, and I see how lively he is yet, wiggling, that means the hook is in the right spot. If you go too far deep, you'll kill him. You hit their backbone and you'll kill him. But you gotta be in that fatty part of the meat. So this way they keep swimming for you, Matthew. That's what you want. That's why they call it live bait, because you want that swimming around when a big fish comes and grabs it. Better the bait, better chance of getting a fish. <laughs> a little bit of luck would get somebody to maybe grab that guy. <laughs> That's all there is to? Yeah, setting up a tip-up. That's it. Then it's a waiting game, <laughs> more or less. So the bait is set and the tip-ups are ready. Now what do you do while you wait? Well, we come out here and we put a bunch of tip-ups in the water, um, bait them up, wait for them to go up, stand around, we talk, we eat, we have fun, and well, you get a flag up and you know you send the kids to go get it. You know, it, it, it's more about the kids. Get the kids out, get them out of the house. Let them have fun, let them learn how to how things work, and you know, they, they like to the fish. As the kids check out a flag, we ask about the other fun things to do on the ice. 
I like coming out here. It's just fun to hang out, catch fish, and just have a good time. Riding snowmobiles all over, it's just a great time. In addition to riding the snowmobiles, there's loads of food for this winter picnic, lots of standing around, a little frisbee with your favorite canine, a little downtime before some sledding action, and of course, a few fishing fables about the one that got away. Oh, and did I mention more food? And needless to say, we had to ask about the many ways to keep warm while you're out on the ice. It's really warm. I got like four different types of pants on, and my insulated muck boots, and it keeps me nice and warm. And if you get too cold, there's nothing like a quick lounge in the pop-up tent to toast your toes. As we packed up to head home, a nor'easter rolled in, and the snowflakes came with it. We hope you enjoyed as we wrap up another epic adventure in the Pocono Mountains.